Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, thank you for joining us today for our daily devotion. And in today's devotion, we're going to take some time to uh, look at the Word of God and especially the words spoken by the Lord Jesus on the cross. And, and, and we see that here are some things that we can observe, that we can learn and definitely we can apply in our lives. So we're going to look at uh, Luke chapter 23 and verses 33 to 37. Luke chapter 23 and verse 33. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. And the people stood looking on, but even the rulers with them sneered, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. So we see here uh, a terrible situation. Uh, we see that um, crucifixion being depicted. Crucifixion, a, a terrible and a painful way of punishment uh, ending in certain death. In fact, the English word uh, excruciating is derived from this word crucifixion. Um, where a person was nailed on a, a beam uh, of uh, uh, or the cross and um, they suffered till they died. So it's a form of slow painful death and it was reserved for rebels and those uh, uh, who were criminals. And our Lord Jesus, He was crucified and He went through intense pain he, and suffering and ended in death. The other thing that we see here that in the midst of all this, he was actually fulfilling certain words that were spoken, certain prophecies that were made uh, by the prophets through the Spirit of God. It was being fulfilled right then and there. And we see Psalm 22 verses 17 and 18 where we read uh, Psalm 22 and verse 17, I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast lots. And these very words are in fact recounted by uh, the, the, the Gospel writer Luke and we see this happening. The other thing that we see that in the midst of all this intense pain and suffering, the Lord Jesus does something amazing. He prays to the Father for the very people, the creation uh, who was actually inflicting pain and causing Him to suffer and He prayed that they would be forgiven. Verse 34, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. So we see the heart of the Lord. We see the compassion and the love that the Lord has, continues to have, and the Lord had at that moment for those who were inflicting the greatest of pain physically upon Him. And the challenge for us today is this. We read in Ephesians 4 and verses 30 to 32, it says, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you and with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So that is the challenge that is before us today. Even as we look at this picture of great suffering, I mean, as we see the Lord Jesus, Him reaching out and forgiving the ones who were inflicting pain, we are challenged in Ephesians 4, verse 32, to be kind to one another, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So today, right before us, we have the empowering of the Holy Spirit and the love of God as resources for us to live out, to apply this out. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for the greatest of examples of forgiveness that you set before us on the cross. And Lord, even as we see the instruction in your word to forgive as God in Christ forgave us. Lord, we pray, O oh God, even by the power of your Holy Spirit and by your love which is shed for us in our hearts, God, that we would step out to forgive, that we would be willing to make that choice to forgive others the way you forgave us. Enable us to do this today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.